You're good for a couple of days, AC. That's all I'm saying. Then you can fight for the two on the, you know, yeah, well, Friday. Hey, and I'll try to pick up things for you to do. Okay. You're going to be here. Hey, it's, a, it's a giant cosmic puzzle, you know? I was going to bring this book, <laughs> and that's what this book is, is puzzles and stuff. It says, uh, it's, a, it's got a thousand... Mind puzzles and I want to say not limericks, but you got one? Like like uh okay um 
One of the puzzles had the number 226. And it said, take these numbers and how many numbers can you form off of 226? So, just based on that thing right there, I said, okay, 222, 222, that's three. And then there was another one I said. I said, two. 22, 222. Uh, 2 to the second tower, 22 to the second tower, 222. Uh, 2 to the 20 second tower, it's 2 to the second tower, 2 to the 20 second tower, and then there's 22 to the second tower. Uh, so that was, uh, what did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That was his book. It was a nice book and stuff. And half of that I was right, but they were able to, uh, they were able to, uh, make more numbers. Out. And then, like, one of the things, one of the puzzles was, uh, seven houses had seven cats that killed seven mice that was capable of uh, each. Okay, wait. Seven houses had seven cats that killed seven mice each. And each mice was capable of eating seven grains of uh, something. And then it said, how many grains did the cat say? And so you have to go like seven houses, seven cats kill seven mice. So then it goes uh, seven times seven is 64 times seven, because it's in seven houses, right? Or 49 cats killed, but it was seven, if that was the puzzle. <laughs> and they got these degrees, so the degree of the puzzles is like from a scale of one to 10, um, one being easy, 10 being hard. And um, when it had to do with the math and stuff, you had like one, two, and three, so three dots of these puzzles and stuff. And the, it was a great book, and I said, you know what? I think this would be a good book for down, down at Chitty Hall. Because then it could take people's minds off of what they're doing and put it in other places. They don't have to feel that when a suit walks by, that suit is better than that. The suit is only better because uh, dude got a job. That's it. That's the only thing that makes him great or better. You know. And and it, and that's that's not even 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 the suit. The job don't make it. Yeah, he's a slave to the system. And if that's and, but and that's what we have to be. We have to be a slave to the system if we want to get by. You know, and, and if we want to capitalize off of that, we have to be a slave to this system. We want to capitalize. So, I was thinking that if I brought this book down here and just put a, on a, what? a plane, what? you know, to where when, when somebody stops to talk to us, you know, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Is something bothering you? And you can say, yeah, yeah. In, in fact, there is. There are seven houses that had seven cats, you know, and you can tell this suit that. And when the suit listens to that, 
then you give him a reason to not want to talk to you. Because this guy keeps giving me these hard-ass riddles and shit. You know, he don't know how to say, hey, how's it going? He has to go like this. How's it going? I used ready to think like riddle? you. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for another riddle? I got one. I got one that'll get you. <laughs> Depending on you too. 